I uh, just had to hit apply and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and reboot so once I applied those settings I kinda figured um, that it would start identifying uh, malware at this point immediately and start killing these processes but it doesn't really um, these threats just continue to run uh, when I reboot it's like it really kicks in with the early scan and um, and starts deleting some of the malware so I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, a reboot So uh, also a lot of people left comments this week and I haven't been able to get to some of them. Um, please try to be patient. I'll get to those as soon as I can. I get to a lot of comments uh, on the site and on the YouTube channel a lot now. So it's, you know, hard to keep up with sometimes. But I usually do answer every... Um, question or comment I mean as long as I can understand it uh, I only speak English and um, a lot of people sometimes ask me questions in English and you can definitely tell it's not their native tongue and then sometimes I just can't understand it so Okay, that was a pretty quick uh, reboot. It's kind of taking a while at the welcome screen. I'm assuming this is that early load uh, stuff that it was uh, talking about, where it loads the antivirus before we actually log in. And um, there you go. Uh, Norton Internet Security has started deleting uh, malware processes. And you can see because Windows cannot find shell.exe. And there will probably be a few other ones. Yeah. Here's a fake security control panel. It, it removed that. Uh, removed the uh, Vundu right there. And it just destroys upon reboot. Um, does a fairly good job at that. Some things that have escaped seem to be the XP Antivirus 2008. I think it does get that, though. Uh, I haven't done a scan yet, and I haven't updated any definitions yet. We just had to kill enough malware to where we could get on and start making changes. Um, so now Norton is protecting against stuff. Uh, Autoblock has blocked XP antivirus. Your computer is secure. Um, I'm assuming it's going to delete the XP antivirus uh, binary in a few minutes here. Uh, if I click settings down here, or view details, I'm sorry, it'll actually uh, load up uh, a history report of resolved security risk. And you can see these are medium level, high level, and they all say blocked, 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 blocked. Um, I want them to say removed or deleted, but whatever. It'll do that eventually. Um, very cool down here. Got just a handful of things uh, loading. Um, again, Norton is blocking XP antivirus. 
Um, it's like once you once you set up your initial stuff in Norton Internet Security, saying you basically want to detect, detect everything under the sun, and you you select that early load, you reboot, and it just kicks in. You know, it starts doing its job at that point. I'm okay with that, you know, but I wish it would do it right away. But you know, hey, what are you gonna do? The uh, PC is still loading. Uh, you can see the uh, hard drive is flat out maxed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, Internet Security. The network card is active, and you can see there's a few Trojan downloaders on here because something's trying to auto-download right now. Everything loads very quickly. Uh, everything's running fine now at this point. I can operate uh, Norton Internet Security just fine. So basically what it did is upon reboot, it just decimated, I'd say, probably 80% of the malware. And we haven't even done an update yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I'll be right back.